It's a hot, sweltering trial. It's a medical malpractice case. It's the middle of the summer. The air conditioning is not working very well in the courtroom. And now the jury is sweating like bullets. You see the sweat pouring down their faces. The defense attorney is busy gulping his water, ice cold water. Now, why is that such a rookie mistake? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. And let me share with you why it's such a rookie mistake for the defense attorney to be gulping down his ice cold water in front of a jury that is sweating. Because it creates bad feelings. That's the bottom line. The jury is thirsty. The jury is hot. They're bothered. They're uncomfortable. It's a hot, blistering day and the air conditioning is not working very well. What should an attorney do in that instance? He should ask the judge, judge, can we have the court officer go get some ice cold water? Judge, I have some extra bottles of water. Can I distribute them to the jury? You want to let the jury know that you sympathize with them, that you feel for them. You don't want them to be sitting there sweating their brains out, watching this guy drink ice cold water. Meanwhile, nobody else in the courtroom has anything to drink. That's not a great strategy. Instead, ask the court officer if he can go get some ice cold water, some ice water, so that the jury can have something to drink, so that the court officer can have something to drink, so the court stenographer has something to drink. It shows a bit of empathy, and that generates something with the jury to get them to realize, hey, you know what? He's thinking about us as well, not just his client, not just winning this case, but about other people in the courtroom. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you because this happens from time to time in the summer when cases go to trial and the air conditioning is not working. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516 487 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.